Well, hello there. How are you? Oh my goodness. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night, wherever you, in the, you are in the world. I am sorry I'm late. Things happen. Unfortunately, I took on responsibilities, which sometimes take a little bit of my time, but I'm willing to sort them out. So, good morning. Good morning, Al. Good morning, Braxton Murphy. Where am I? I'm here. I'm sorry. Good morning, Basilis. Good morning, Patero. Good morning, Robert Weber. Good morning, me. <laughs> good morning, Edwin. Yes, I am tripping over the cords as I made it to the stream this morning. I'm here though. Yay. Good morning, Catherine. Good morning. Today's stream is going to be something a little different. It's very exciting. This is a game called Cradle. That sound is my cat scratching his neck. He's got bells on his collar. He keeps bringing in birds. Um, if you can hear that, I don't know if you can hear that. I was just like, what's that noise? Oh my god, what's that noise? That's what it is. Today's game is Cradle. Cradle is something that I bought recently in the Steam sale because I looked at it and I thought, oh, that's kind of up my road. It is a sci-fi puzzle game. One, I love puzzle games. I've always preferred puzzle games over first-person shooter games. <laughs> it's just a thing. I don't know. High intelligence? No, not really. Just, um, they're more interesting in a way. Instead of killing people, I get to solve puzzles. And it's science fiction which has really fascinated me. I've always been fascinated with science fiction. Um, this is even cooler. So Cradle, hang on, let me just scroll down. There is a link down in the description to the Steam page so you can see what it's about. But basically, it's a sci-fi person view quest designed for the player, sorry, sci-fi first person view quest designed for the player to explore the surrounding world. The story is built around the relations of the protagonist and a mechanical girl who by quirk of fate found themselves amidst the desert. The player's task was to repair the mechanical body of his companion and solve the mystery of the neglected entertainment park located not far from the, from, not far from where you start. So basically, hang on, what did it say? It started, the year is 2076 in Mongolia. Yeah, it's very interesting. Let's go check it out. Um, let me just get my chart back. So, oh, hang on. Pop it out. Hi, you guys are all popped out now. So, it's a relaxing game? Maybe, maybe. There's going to be no shooting. There's, I don't know if it's going to be have a sort of element of horror to it. <sighs> Good morning, Shayanam. That was really clever. Thanks. Um, hi, Jason Gersting. There she be! Yes, and hello gaming Mike. So, yes, no Empyrean, no Conan, no, I don't know what else I've been playing, Spirit Animal Survival, I try, I want to go into this. Now, Resume Game is there because I have actually just jumped into the game to see sort of what it was like, um, and I decided, yes, this is a great game, and I think this would be really good for streaming. I'm going to turn up the music a little bit because it is quite cute music. And these are the uh, game things. So I've always gone for streaming games that are quite, you know, popular or people know about or whatever. This time I'm going for a game that nobody really knows about, just for something different. Also, I will only be streaming for about another two hours because it's school holidays and I have other responsibilities, unfortunately. But anyway. Okay, let's go. New game, would you like to take the tutorial? Yes, I guess. I can't even remember if I did this last time. I can't even remember what I did. What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> oh, what's happening? Oh, we're loading. It's got a hot mechanical girl, so you can't go wrong. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Movement. I think... Use WASD to move around, hold shift to run, with space to jump, press and hold control to crouch. Done. I read the text, parenthesis, put, pick up or put down an object, sight, use one object on another, dialogue cloud, speak with the character. Certain objects contain text. To read text from the information stand, walk, to, walk up to it and left click on the stand when using the cursor change set. Like that. Left click. Okay. 
Oh, sorry. I can actually read it in, in game, but I could also click on it if I wanted to. Left click on the gate to open it. So I have to remember which is my left. It's dark in here. Okay. Pick up. Certain objects can be picked up. Left click on the red cube to pick it up. Use the inventory to carry the items with you. Oh, ooh, ooh. Press E while holding the cube. E again to remove the item from the inventory. Right click to th force throw a held item. Right click. Okay. Done that. Now what? You can use item items on others while holding item A, mouse over item B, and left cl click on it, add the missing part to arrangement of cubes. So we can use this, and we can put that. Oh, actually, that's not the right one. We need a red one. Pick that up and go over here. And. Whoops. Nope. 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 She fails. She fails. While well, holding item A, mouse over item B and left click on it. Oh, left click, left click. I'm left clicking and it's not doing it. Mouse over. What? <laughs> okay, that's the wrong color. This is the right color. Okay, there we go. You may occasionally need help throughout the game. Press tab to receive a clue. Tab again to hide it. Dream. Our story begins here. While sleeping, you see a strange and troubled dream. Follow the instructions to wake up. Go toward the light. Let's get out of here. It's dark and I'm scared. I don't like the dark. <laughs> Go towards the light. Ooh. Walk up to the table and click on it. This is cool. Yeah, now red. No. Ooh. Ooh. What's happened here? It's a keyboard of ease. Is it easy? What did uh, Catham get? Just finished the second episode of your sci fi serial. Oh, nice! Good job! Everyone, Catham is an artist, a writer, an author. Cradle. That is so pretty. I'm not entirely sure what cradle, the word cradle, has to do with this game. Not the kind of title I think I would choose for a, a sci-fi adventure game, but it's got to have some relevance. You know what I mean? Oh, eclectic. Is it only me? The quality of the image is getting blurring after two minutes and I have to reload the page constantly. Oh, what is this? What is this? What happened? Is that a helmet? What do I have to do? Enter? No, I just have to wait. You're working up. Getting up. What's happening? Where am I? Who am I? What am I doing here? Oh, there's another table. It's the same table that I had before. Is this the dream or is this the reality? Oh, what's on that piece of paper? Okay, we're, we're up. Let's look at this piece of paper. Tab tabaha. I got fat and now I smell bad. Turn off your nose and don't look at me. I didn't say good. I didn't say goodbye to Ongut. I waited for him all day, but he didn't return. Please feed him and change him lest he gets sick. Follow his rest this recipe. Let me try to prepare food. I need to meet with this Ongut's creature. Okay. Heat the red pot, add a glass of water, add a few cut plum olive fruits. There are plenty of them by the lake. Add dried root, but don't forget to grind it. Add salt and water will turn orange. Cook until it's done. Okay, do I need to come back? I guess maybe I might need to come back to this. I'm not sure. Ooh, check it out. Whoa, what is all this stuff? Rocket, a, re a flying present from Uncle Mark. <gasps> a book! Tibetan Book of the Dead. Pure white flames burn so brightly, so blindingly, that it pains the eyes to behold it. Pure white flame. Okay. Can I close that? I better close it. Pencils. Candles. Incense sticks. And, yeah, incense sticks. Can candles. <laughs> it's so cute. And what's in here? Oh, this is a pipe. Hang on a sec. What's this? This is... I can't... I can't pick it up. Oh, smoking accessories. Okay. Okay. Uh, and what is this? Is this something? No. What's this? 
Voucher for one-time donor utilization service. 30 plus transfer center. What? And this is some pictures. We're with friends on the bank of Karulin. Who is this person? Oh, what's this? We should be grass and bushes. We should be water and flowers. Okay, let's just have a look a little look around. <gasps> Who is this? 3326. She is hot. Is this a, a video player? No, what is it? Oh, huh? The on button is jammed. I can't press it. Bummer. Hi Devrock777? 777? Welcome to the stream. How are you? I'm just looking at this beautiful game. It's called Cradle. What is this? Ooh. What is this? A Grace Embalmer. <gasps> it's an embalmer? Ugh. Can I look at that? What does that say? No, I can... What is that? What is that? So this guy's an embalmer. Oh, hang on. Wait. Look. What's this? Ready? Message on display. Lid open. Okay, close the lid then. Ready. Message. No flower in the phytocopier. A phytocopier! So we copy flowers? Ooh! Sphere. To the center of the sphere. It's a newspaper article. We are one and a half kilometers outside of the contamination sphere, crossing the outer perimeter. The toxin content is low here, and the risk of damage to the nervous system is negligible. We're headed toward the center. 140 meters to the sphere border. Warning signs are everywhere. Beyond this point, the exposure rises sharply. Inside the marked perimeter, the nervous system ceases operation. We are minutes away from slipping into unconsciousness. 40 meters to the sphere border. We have made it to the deadly frontier. We're looking at, all, at, at a tall enclosure. We're not going to go any further. Only mechanical equipment is capable of functioning inside the sealed off area. Zero meters. The lens of our scouting drone is right at the border to the contamination sphere. Hang on, I have to come down. Wait, can you go down? So there's contamination of some kind. What's hit? There's a sphere. Okay. Zero meters. The lens of our scouting drone is right at the border to the contamination sphere, marked by a grey tinge in the earth. The area on the other side is hardly researched and remains inaccessible even for machinery. Many a mystery is hidden inside the sphere. What are the amorphous dots rising from the ground along the border. What is the cause of the severe's ostensibly arbitrary effect on the organic human body which disintegrates at twice the rate of all other creatures? And of course, what's happening at the centre of the sphere? Expert opinion. We know next to nothing about the process trans processes transpiring at the epicentre of the desperate toxin emission. But there is one claim we can confidently make, that space operates under unique physical properties. Thus far, we've observed inconceivable phenomena, such as microwave radiation vanishing, pushing us to consider truly fantastical theories. One such theory suggests that a radio signal sent to the epicenter doesn't just vanish, but travels through time. Oh, hi Al and Jack S. Oh, okay. Oh my God, what, what is this? I can't do anything with this. The, there is nothing coming up like on my screen. 33, 26, 17. So maybe I have to find parts or something. Oh, no. Okay, what's this? Minus one and a half billion. We're dying out. It's four years into the epidemic and now nine billion are down to just seven and a half. Only 30 million people had the courage to get body replacements in the past. Body replacements? What's this? Syncam Fascine. Help is on the way. Dear parents, take into account current circumstances and sharing your concern for the fates of your children. We are undertaking an extraordinary measure to wrap the, uh, the clinical trials of the neurometabolic prematurely and bring the drug to market. In return for granting the manufacturer indemnity, your children will soon receive free access to the medicine. <gasps> ooh, that's... No, that's... Ooh. Seven covers per rack. Okay. There's an axe. Can I take that? Hack someone, someone's parts off? I don't know. Ooh, there's a pot. Okay. What's this up here? Mongol. Ooh, ah, it looks like a battery of some kind. Okay, hang on. Right, I guess this has got to go somewhere safe because uh, now I'm picking it up. Maybe over here? Uh, 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 hang on a second. Let's just put on the floor just there. Okay. Okay. What's this? TV guide for December 2071. What did they say? 2075? I think that was what it was. Okay. So we'll just... I was, let's just have a look around the room. I see... And then I see this chick. And she's hot. And I want to know who she is. And cups and plates and stuff. And... Oh! Water! Oh. Can I fill up a glass or something? Here's a cup. Here's a cup. Can I fill it up? 
Isn't that cute? Um, now how do I put it down? The item does not work. Oops. Ah, oh, oops. Okay, turn off. <laughs> Dirty mirror, you can't see anything. No, really? It's a toothbrush! To care for the bone formations of the mouth, cav mouth cavity, for organic bodies only. Hi, Rexton Murphy and Wabbit Hunter. How you doing? Oh, I just knocked it over, whatever that was. Talcum powder, maybe? It might be something like that. What's in here? The door is jammed. The door is jammed. That door is not jammed. What's this? They succeeded in reading the brain from information and storing it as a digital copy. The new technology has been dubbed neurocopying. So what is a neurocopy? Memories? Upon hearing this question, the developers favoured us with an indulgent smile. Evidently, it's not quite memories. Fair enough. We shall let the essence of the technology remain a mystery for now. Instead, let us celebrate another momentous victory in the world of science. It may not yet be the complete consciousness transfer some were hoping for, but it's nevertheless a steady step towards a goal. So I'm wondering if this girl has some somebody's consciousness perhaps put in it. So there's a bed over there and there's a bed over here. There's a whole bunch of things on the floor over here. We've got this. Stuffed peppers. <laughs> Stuffed peppers. Are they like, are they like somebody, hello Azumi Athami, Athami, you just subscribed. Welcome to the Shea Squad. Thank you so much for caressing the sub button. So what was I saying? Um, oh, are they the descendants of the red hot chili peppers? What was their name again? Oh, I just opened that. Stuffed peppers. I don't know. And here's a glass. Oops, can I put it back? No, I can only drop things. That's a pain. Oh, what's this? Everything magazine. Inextricable link. It is becoming wearisome to constantly refute sensational yarns of humans living with modified genocopies. We will therefore simply offer a universal fact. The neurocopy is viable only while embedded in its native inborn gene pattern. Ah. Replacing as little as a fellow as a few nucleotides in your genocopy would server, sever this band. And it is well documented what happens to consciousness that becomes disconnected from the body. That's interesting. Oh yeah. So like, you know, if your consciousness was disconnected from your body, then you'd have no memory of this life. Because the memories are in the body, not the spirit or something. So if you are, like, if you believe, if you're, for example, a Christian religion, you believe that you're going to go to heaven when you die, if you, have, if you lead a good life, but you go to heaven, you most likely won't remember what happened in your life because your memories are attached to your body, to your spinal cord. Oh, we're getting very deep here. <laughs> this is a body. Preparing for a trans will get to know your M body. Oh, this is the body you get? Aron, Hi. Hi Braxton Murphy, you saw your Conan stream and commented to me about the forest. Yes, the forest is amazing. I was hoping I'd be able to play with him, but I didn't quite get that far. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that, oh what, lens? 14, I can't really see that. Can I go closer? I don't know. Nope. Okay, there's a whole bunch of things. Systems with biological waste in the suburbs of Erdenet. All houseplants need light to a varying degree. No plant can grow in total darkness. Even the bottom level of a tropical forest gets quite a bit more light than... Kenya Mombasa? What's this? Oh, oh no, no, I don't want to pick that up. Oh, it's a tablet. <gasps> Read entries. I don't know the password. Um, shake it. Oh, can I not? Okay, well, I don't know the password. Oh, 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 oh. it's just a light. Hang on. Can I get out of this? No, I don't want to read entries. Can I get out of this? Get me out of this. Huh? I don't know the password. Okay, there we go. That was my only option. Well, let's open open a drawer. New life guidebook. Whoa. Okay. Hang on a sec. What is this here? Internal International Body Replacement Program. Map of Ulan Bator. Can I take that? I like maps. Set of tourist postcards. And in here is a whole bunch of blankets, I guess. And this is... Two swifts flew over the restricted zone today. I don't know what happened to them afterward. Both are now dead, most likely. Once I almost went in there myself, I don't know at the time that no one is allowed past the enclosure. What's this? Oh, what? No, 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 no. Not that one. No. Eh. 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 Open this one. There's something in here. Collision of satellites in 2034 resulted in the great spot disintegrating and forming a stable system of four worlds. Okay. What's this? Taxi in the sky above Megapolis. Interesting. Oh my gosh, there's so much to discover. Alright, what's this? This is this helmet that I saw when I was 
Okay. Can I put it on or something? No, I guess not. What's in this chest? This chest has been shut for many years, so I guess I've got to find a key. What's this? Written in Old Mongolian? There's all these photos. Do I need to know what they are? These are suitcases. I just... A ball! Oh. Oh, look! Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> I guess I've got to open this door in a minute, but just hang on a second. What's this? Karunga. Is it kind of some kind of alcohol? So this is interesting. I'm guessing I'm coming back here at some point to do something to something. Hello, mi little miss. <gasps> what did you do? Oh my gosh. Okay, so can I just drop this on the floor and then then try and... Ah, I'm taking a part of brain! <laughs> Hello. What's in here? Ooh, okay, let's put it back together. Wait, where did that brain piece go? Let's put that back in here. Can I do that? Oh, I can't feel. <laughs> Uh, let's put this back on here. Okay, so I've done that. No, I don't. Oh, I can take her breasts off. Ooh, taking off the breasts. And what's this? Can I do anything with this? No. Okay, let's put her breasts back on then. Let's pick her breasts back up. Back up put them back on. Can I take, take the stomach off? No. Oh, on. There's an on button. breaths again what do I need to do she just woke up and then died again yeah I want to play with beef totally no <laughs> it would be great I'm just I know you know busy man and stuff like that anyway I'm playing this game right now what is this Ooh. oh look I can magnify things oh no 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 oh what's this let's say hang on a second everything's sitting on top of each other what's this I don't even know what it is Here's a pen. There's things. This is epic. Oh, what's this? Six seconds in hell. Centers of community. <laughs> Centers of contamination and gradually losing their diabolical power. Researchers claim such an assertion comes for the first time after 13 years of futile attempts to penetrate at penetrating deep within the spheres of contamination. It will likely be decades before a human being will cross the threshold of a sphere. But now there's hope that technology will soon enable us to extract neurochips of fellow citizens who had fallen victims to emissions from zones hitherto inaccessible. I'm nutilating dead robo, not robo hookers. Yeah. Yeah. I, am, are you calling me an amateur kid? That's why I can't do brain surgery? Oh my goodness. I feel so powerful now. Oh look, crouch. Can I crouch? Crouch. Shift. Control. Control. Ooh. What's under here? I like looking under things. What's this? Synthetic sterilant for photocopier lo loading? What's this? Ooh, ooh. What's this? Seven covers per pack? What's this? <gasps> I just pulled out a remote from underneath the thing! <laughs> I'm so clever. <laughs> let's put that up there. And this thing, let's put that up there too. I'm guessing it's going to be used for something eventually. Isn't this hard? If you ugly photocopies receiving centre. They, oh, what's this over here? That you, when you Red, at least 80. Yellow, exactly 71. These are probably like keys to certain puzzles that are going on. And these are the answers right here. Are you guys ready to go out? Press the button where to turn her on. On her, I don't know what that is, leg? You can turn her on here, see? Seven, one of these numbers, I mean, 93. Hi! But then she doesn't... Then I can't do anything with her. And she just falls asleep again. See? I don't know why. I don't know. There's these notes on the wall. Hang on a second. Six red over 70. One red exactly 80. Pick up after seven. Orange 70. One red for tomorrow. Oh my goodness. The display on the lid is frozen, stuck at only zeros. What is this here? Female chimpanzee with her child. Monument to the rescue's flower market. For the greater good. Oh my goodness, there's so many... Cash voucher. Okay. Oh, no, that thing there. Yeah. International Day of the Beautiful. Event schedule. Okay. To those who will never explode, may your lives be rich with emotions. May your containers never cease filling. With bated breath and full of hope, we gaze upon you. Those whose displays 
but proudly boasts numbers higher than 70. Beyond those two digit glimmers, a new hope for humankind evicting all danger for you will never explode. Wow. Yeah, there's a. Oh, the password. The password for the thing just. Where is it? Over here. Uh, no, hang on. Where, where is here? So you don't know the password. If I go in here, it doesn't read entries. Can't, I don't know the password. Okay, so I don't even know if, if the password has an amount of letters or anything. But let's go back to the bulletin board and see if there is a password. Hang on, let's start here. Tabaha about covers. To, no password. No. You need a special screwdriver. Okay, oh, what's this here? Oh, it's radio. Hang on. I'm just going to leave that running because password. Maybe, but it says the only option is that I don't know the password. It doesn't say, it doesn't say that I know it and to enter it. So I guess I have to gain that knowledge. I can't just guess it. Read entries. If I type something, no, it doesn't work. Okay, so I actually have to know what it is first. Hello, Al. Hello, Nails. She waits for input. She does. Okay, well, oh, Friday 24th of June. Oh. Oh, whoops. Okay. Let's put, no, put it in the rubbish bin, please. In the rubbish bin. Thank you. No, no, in the rubbish bin. Oh, really? Fling? No. Oh, where did the rubbish bin go? I'm just making a mess, aren't I? <laughs> this looks like a fridge and it's locked. So the door is jammed. So I'm guessing there's something in there that should not be let out. Okay, let's open the door and see what's out here. Ooh. Ooh, this land looks very, um, ooh, what's that? It's like a, it's, it's a sphere, might be the sphere that we're talking about and all of the information that we have read so far. What is that? Some kind of like, it's like, like maybe like, like you tie your horse onto there and you put a bucket of feed in there. Oh, oh, like, uh -huh. and then there's some, hang on, I'm experiencing a little bit of lag. What is this? Something with a hole in the middle. You know what that reminds me of? Like the, and the alien comes out of that guy's chest. But it's also got like someone's drawn something around the outside. So maybe there was something there that was needed. The writing on the whiteboard. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's. Hang on a second. Let's just have a look around here. Oh, box. do anything with that. What's this over here? It's a, what do you call those? Solar panel? Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Why am I falling backwards? The box is wired up. Where does the wire go? To here. <gasps> what is that? Oh my goodness. This is so cool. Can I climb up here? Oh, we can. What is this? The stand is mobile. There must have been something that attached to it. Okay. Oh, interesting. And so now we know what's around us. <clears throat> I'm stuck, excuse me. Now we know what's... Oops, hang on again. I can't get through there. Wait a second. Now we know what's around us. Let's go back inside. Somebody said something about a... You're back and you told Beef? Braxton, do you know him personally? <laughs> I did message him to tell him I knew that there, that there were Dequito, new Dequito... Priests, priests in the world and, and, and devolved, but he might be upset at the game now that he lost all the stuff. Oh, what? Look at this. It's closed. No kidding. <clears throat> What's in here? <clears throat> Excuse me, more blankets. <clears throat> okay, so something, somebody said something about the whiteboard. This is the whiteboard, so password might be on the whiteboard. Um... Uh, hang on a second. The bulletin board read it password. Field poppies. P 
Hessian. I've read most of that. Toilet paper. Plum olive juice. Oh, the plum olive juice is what you have to feed the whatever thing it was talking about. Where was that? Oh, chair. Can I move you? Yeah, I'll just move you. Just, just go there. Alright, this we haven't looked at. So let's have a look at this. Text on the screen. Power on. Load basing systems done. Loading operating system done. Am I a robot too? Liquidating donor done. So I'm assuming that I'm some like somebody that they were... <gasps> no! What did you do? No! Put it back! No! No! You're an idiot! No! Oh my gosh, how do I put it back? <laughs> did you see that? The dust! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what have I just done? You're an idiot! Switch on the device. Put a finger on the opening for blood sampling. Wait until the gene copying is complete. The data will be transferred automatically to our center. Remember, only pe people with the HQ of 30 or higher are permitted to transfer. If the HQ verification is successful and the data is submitted correctly, our operator will get in touch with you over the built-in communicator. The operator will run a diagnostic and start scanning your long-term memory. The operator will load your data to the transfer center. What have I done? What have I done? I just undid the whole thing. Can I put, please put it back? Can I throw it? No. Oops, I just broke everything. What have I done? I'm an idiot. <laughs> so where was I supposed to stick my finger? <laughs> <laughs> Lighter fluid? Should I just put everything on fire? Hi, Greg. How are you? What have I done? I just broke this thing. What's this? I don't even know what that is. Here's a ball. Okay. Hi. No! I don't want to- No! I don't want to take you apart! I want to press on. That doesn't work. The on button's jammed. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared that I just broke this and I broke the game now. It was working and then I stopped it. I'm ending the world. Torch the place. <laughs> Where is it? Where is that thing that I... What's this? I don't know. Okay. Anyway. Okay, let's go for a walk. I don't know where we're going, what we're doing. This seems... What? Let's go this way, up to this thing over here. Because I have no clue what was going on in that area after I feel really bad that I broke that thing. <laughs> this is how Fallout started. Shay dropped a thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure I can put it together too. Oh, what's this? Mongolian Post. Epistolary Communication Terminal Number 905. Date of last cartridge load, July 1st, 2058. Well, that was a long time ago. It's now like 2075 or something. So that was ages ago. Yeah, what's this? Ooh. Inspection results. Absence of for noise or vibration. No volatile currents observed. Instrument readings are well within... What? But it had thingies falling on me. Ongut's breakfast. There is no one around to help you remember what happened. Prepare breakfast for Ongut's to meet him. Put the red pot on the furnace. Okay. On the furnace. Wait a minute. I, I will repair it, I just don't know how. Put the red pot. Okay, we've got to look for a red pot, guys. Okay. Where is... That's not a red pot. That's not a red pot. Oh, this is a red pot. No, that's a red something. This is not a red pot. Put red pot on the furnace. Is this the red pot? It's kind of red. Okay, here we go. Let's pick up this and put it on the furnace. Oh, uh, like that. 
Okay, done. Now, put that in there. Oh, there was a, um, there was a, I think I dropped it on the floor though. This. Now let's crouch. Oops, crouch. Maybe I have to put some wood in there as well. Not enough firewood. Okay. Hang on, let's just put this down here. Firewood. Firewood. Yay, we're doing something finally. This <laughs> is sort of like, I'm clueless. What do I do running around? And finally, oh, there we go. Here's some firewood. Okay. Has to be around the other side of the furnace though, doesn't it? Of all places. Is that enough? Or do I need two? Ah, okay. Let's, let's try um, this one. Crouch. Crouch. Not enough firewood. Okay, let's just drop that. Okay, so the door. Let's put some more in there, though. Let's put some more in there. One. Let's put it all in there, shall we? Go back. What is this on the ground? This here? Oh, no, nothing. Okay, get this. I'm going to go crouch. And... <laughs> I have no feet! Yay, it's working! Now we'll drop that, close that, and we're going to prepare Ingot's breakfast. Okay. <clears throat> where did we read about that? Was it through this? Because now I've just broken it. What a pain. Okay, where is that thing? While that's going, let's put that there, and this over here. Clown Savatsuki just subscribed. Welcome to the She Squad. See, I keep dropping it. Why am I dropping it? This is why I'm afraid that I've broken it, because I can't seem to put it in where it's supposed to go. Which is just there and the other one this one that was supposed to go I accidentally clicked this and now it's not working the paper on the table ah there we go thank you Heat the red pot, add a glass of water. Uh, okay, I uh, add a glass of water, cool. Thank you. <laughs> I would have got to that eventually. Oh, that's actually full already, so that's all good. Something magically keeps it in there. Add a glass of water. How do I... The red pot is not the... Maybe that's not the red pot. That's not the right red pot. Where would the right red pot be? Give me a pot. This is the... Oops. I'm just making me a Santa. Oh, is this the red pot? This may be the red pot. Hang on a second. Let's put that over there. Because it looks like it's for whoever this person is. There we go. Put this here. That there. Okay, we're doing it, guys. Yay! What was next? What's next? Uh... Add a few cut plum olive, plum olive fruits. There are plenty of them by the lake. By the lake. Okay. Uh, that lake? Okay, let's go down there then. I do remember seeing plum olive somewhere, but we'll just go by the lake because that's what the instructions say. <clears throat> Someone, a lot of people are, are saying something about the quality. I did change the quality of the actual game. The game is that. Oh, really? That's annoying, isn't it? Okay, plum all of fruits. Let's see if we can find some. Those red fruit on the tree look edible. I'll try and find something to use to knock them down. <clears throat> what tree? This one here? Oh, look at that. Can I jump? Jump and grab one. Can I pick up a rock? Wee! <laughs> Can I punch the tree? Oh, come on! <laughs> Be like Minecraft and let me punch the tree. So maybe I have to go up there, back to the thing, and find something to punch, to knock them down with.
Is YouTube streaming in the lowest quality? YouTube, what is this? I'm loyal to you. Stop being a pain in the neck. I'm loyal to you. <laughs> Don't make me change my loyalties. Okay, maybe this will... What if I... Hang on. What if I... Hang on. What? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Any of these things... Oh, oh, it's a torch. Okay. Put that down there. I don't want it right now. But I could pick up this and use it to knock the tree. But what about this? Uh... Oh, hang on. What about this? This looks like a brick. Oh, no. That's the battery. What could you use that would be big enough to knock it down? Can I... Is there anything out here that's like a... Like a like a big rock or something, or oh look, substance of nothing. A curious not physical phenomenon is being observed during experiments synchronizing neurochips with DNA copies. A condensate of unknown substances has been formed inside. Blah 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 blah. Okay, where's something I can pick up to? Ooh, ow, we, we're a little bit turned around a little bit fast. Sorry guys. What is that? Can you turn over? Ah, oh, just a piece of block. And there's that. Okay. Can I pick up a rock? Throw the ball. What was that? Okay, throw the ball's a good idea. Um, where did the ball go? <laughs> what is this? Okay. The balls were... I kind of pick them up and throw them. Okay. I'm going to pick up this bucket. Because it's the most... Oh, have I got it? Still, or did I drop it? It won't... It won't come out. Here we go. I did. Alright, it's come out. <laughs> I just dropped it as soon as I left the place. Okay. You have to hover your mouse on the lower right just to the left of shit. Oh, right. You actually want to see me use a tin can to knock down a tree? I'm going to assume that nobody here has ever played this game and knows what I'm doing. Because if you did, I'm sure someone would say, hey, you're supposed to do this. But no, trust me to walk through the tree. Hang on, wait. Can you, wait. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang. Okay. Can I throw this at you? Well, that didn't do anything. I didn't do anything either. Shaky, fu uh, shaky numbers. <laughs> Welcome to the Shade Squad. Thank you so much for joining. That isn't actually doing anything. Um, it's you said to pick something up and throw it at it, so I'm doing that. Is this an intelligence test? It is. Everything's an intelligence test. That's why I always fail at these things. No. Okay. The bucket is not doing anything. The bucket. <clears throat> you can't make out my face. It's that bad. Well, on my side, it's fine. Is anyone else having problems? The client player is also auto setting really low. I sound like a perfect Lara Croft. Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow, that's like the biggest compliment ever. <laughs> oh, thank you for trying to be loyal, Jack. Hello, Kel? Kel? I'm sorry, I'm really bad at pronouncing that kind of kind of name, but I'm going to nickname you Kel, is that alright? I'm well today. Today it's Monday. 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 Oh, socks. On gets breakfast. There's no one around to help you. Remember what happened. Prefer Ongut's breakfast to meet him. Add two cut plum of fruits. Plum olive grows near the nearby lake. I know! You told me that! Now I'm trying to figure out how to get the plum olives down. Wait, maybe there is... Um... What around here? I mean, there's this axe, but I can't pick up the lemon axe. I'd take the axe with me. That seems like the perfect thing, right? But it's not, because I can't take it. Can I pick up that? No, I can pick up that, but I don't want to. I don't, don't want that. What? What? What's around here that I can use? This is. This is tricky. What is this? Dumbbell and Sane. 
shovel from the yard. Yeah, I couldn't pick up the shovel either. Okay. Where's that? This. The shovel. The shovel I can't pick up. The stones I can't pick up. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Let's try this. I don't want to keep running back and forth. That seems really annoying. The ball you think is behind one of the cupboard doors. Okay. Let me just put that down for a second. And thanks for trying, Jack. I'm sorry that you can't watch it. How about a stick? Yeah. Uh, ball is behind one of the cupboards. They kind of ended up being thrown everywhere when I was just looking around. <laughs> Let's look for the balls. Where are the balls? And in looking for the balls, I might find something that will actually be good enough to... Ooh. Nope. What is that? I don't even know. Here's a ball. Okay, here's a ball. Hello, cat! <laughs> He's walking past. Okay, so... Oops, I can't pick that up. Hang on, the ball's gone. Wait, 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 wait. Can't pick up the stick. Hi. Meow. Oh no, I lost the ball. No, oh, there it is. Got it. <laughs> I can't pick up a stick. Or I couldn't pick up that stick. Who knows, there might be something around here that I can pick up. Let's have a little look. Anyone want to look up the answer? Oh, I have to use the other key. Hang on a second. Ah, ah, come here. This is a bit ridiculous. Can I pick this one up? No, nope, I can't pick up stones. I can't pick up anything. Oh, look. There it is. It's bouncing away over there. Use the lighter and burn the tree? Hey, look at that. Little buds on it and stuff. Maybe if I walked into it, boom crash. Sorry, that was my mouse. Clanging it on the ground because I'm frustrated. Okay, so if I go... They did nothing. What am I supposed to do? Pick up any of these puzzles that aren't obvious. <laughs> oh, here we go. A two cut palm of palm only by like. Okay. If I press tab, then it gives me the, the hints, which is good. But maybe. I don't know where that ball is now. I'm probably going to need it. Wouldn't that suck? Throw it at the fruit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The puzzle that I'm trying to figure out is how to get the plum olive trees from down from the um, down from the tree. Because anything that I throw at it doesn't actually affect the tree at all. I've tried balls. Oh, hello, birdie. I don't know where the ball went. <laughs> Fall, you slapped in. I knew you would. It's all right. I understand. <laughs> pick up a stick from the ground and throw it at the fruit. That's what I tried. I tried to pick up a stick, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't pick up. I couldn't pick up a fruit. A piece of. Bleh. I couldn't pick it up. Gumboots. There were toe balls. I don't know where the other one went though. Oh. <clears throat> Where's the other one? They just roll into the corner, you know what I mean? There should be a knife on the table. I'm 
Unless I picked it up and dropped it. I don't think I did though. I don't remember seeing a knife. There's a fork there. Cupboard there. Damp rags and what's that? No. Read that. There's a spoon in there. What's that? Mongolian tea. And a knife. <coughs> okay. Did I try the mop? No. Hi, Fall. Uh, what are all the objects you can use? Yeah. <laughs> Am I from Norway or Australia? I'm from neither, Sir Charles. I'm from New Zealand. The land of hobbits and stuffs, you know? Okay, so. Can I maybe... Take the knife. Take the knife cut the tree. No, hang on a second. I don't want to throw it in case I lose it, you know? Because I lost the ball. I can't use it though. Hang on a second. What is the settings for use? Forward, back, left, right, run, shift, space. Clue, tab, inventory, E. Inventory. Interact. Is left mouse button. Throw is right mouse button. E. Inventory. Okay, well I don't actually have an Oh, wait, where is it? Here it is. Come here, come here. Ah. So I can keep that in my inventory. Cool, I should have done that to the ball. Ha <laughs> ha. No running with knives, Shay. Well, I'm running, see? Look at me. Run. Run. The stick. Can I pick up the... <gasps> I can pick up a stick! Hang on a second. I'm just going to put this knife in my inventory because I don't want to... No, no, no. How do I do that? E... E. Okay. Where's the stick that I can pick up? Okay, so I have to aim it up there, maybe? <gasps> Yay! It only took me 20 minutes, but I did it! One. Just put that on my inventory. And then take another one. Let's do that one. Oh, no, oh, wrong key. Throw. Throw. Throw it! I throw sticks at the doggies. Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Come on! I'm going to get you. Go! Yay! Now I've got two. Did I get the stick too? Let's take the stick in case I want to play with the doggy. I don't even know what this thing is that I have to feed. Uh, tab. Add two pommel, pommel of fruits. Okay. Done it! Rebel? Am I a rebel? <laughs> Break the rules all the time. There are no rules. Just like there is no spoon. Everything is just a figment of your imagination. I am a figment of your imagination. Actually, I'm real. But you figments me. Oh, what was that? A bird? Okay, plum all of fruits. Now, if I go E and then grab this. No, no. Grab this. And put that in. Pick it up. Can you get out of my way, chair? Throw chairs. Put that in there. I can't even put it in there right now. Here we go. Oops. Oh, the fruit needs cutting. Oh, okay. Where's a good place to cut it? Here? And close this door. What's that? Close that door. So much mess everywhere. Okay. Let's put this in there. Oh no, the fruit. Come back. Okay. Now, E. E. Grab knife. No. What? E. Grab knife. And cut. This is a little bit tricky, guys. Maybe I should just cut it on the floor? Yeah, I have to cut them up, right? So, how? Maybe I'll put it down here. And then get the knife. And pick it up. Add two cut pommel of fruits. Pommel of fruits. Okay. Uh, 
Aha! Okay, so let's just put... Oh, sorry. Sorry. Cut. That's one. And that's two. Are you serious? Just get in there. How do I... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you serious? This is ridiculous. Can you just go in there? Science fiction. What is this? This is intelligence tests. <laughs> no! Get in there. Oh my god. Just get in there. Are you serious? What is this? Hang on a second. There's one. There's one just here. So maybe I have to like jump up on top of it and then drop. Jump. Jump. And drop. And then jump up on this one. Jump up on here. And drop. Okay, cool. Now where's the other plum olive fruit? <laughs> Where did you go? Oh, it's in my inventory. Take this. Drop. Pick this up. And cut. And then... No, the item doesn't work. Well. In there. Pick this up. And put that in there. Okay, now I've done that. Cool. I need to go to chef school. There's no one around to help you with it. Add dried root. Use mortar to grind it. Dried root? Oh my gosh. Okay. Dried root. Uh, that's Mongolian tea. Where would I find dried root? Mongolian tea. Fruit bushes will be affected first. Namely, the fruit bearing properties of the plum olive are set to decrease manifold. Only select water adjacent varieties of this plant are likely ret to retain the ability. The ability for what? Alex Martinez, welcome to the Chase Squad. Thank you so much for joining and caressing the sub button. Okay, what do we need? Um, root. If to cook your dinner, first stand on top of the pan. <laughs> The thing is that I can't actually put the boxes back on the shelf. Like, I tried to, and that's what happens. If I do this, I drop it. So I don't know what the heck. It's just... No, I can't even. I don't even know. Okay, root. Braylon Rife. Welcome to the Shea Squad. Thank you so much for subbing. Caressing the sub button softly. So what are we looking... Ro root. A root of some kind. But the root... Using the mortar... Oh my gosh, are you serious? Okay, let's turn some music on. Here we go. What's this here? Oh, nothing. Times it's 6.20. I'm assuming around the kitchen area. What is this? Uh, what's this? Tiny white crystals. Could be citric acid. What's this? A dark murky liquid. Reeks of alcohol. Looks like oil. Smells like vinegar. The root is somewhere outside. Edwin. Edwin, are you my go-to person who knows everything? <gasps> Hi. How are you? Okay. The root is outside. Is there a garden of some kind, maybe? What's this? There's another one of those inside. Oh, is this like a root? Do I need a knife to cut it? I didn't add the lamb sauce. No, I didn't add the lamb sauce. <gasps> Catham! You'll just rather order some food for all of you. Thank you. Well, I'll just, just sit here eating my plum olive fruits. Thank you so much for the donation. You are so amazing. Where's the knife gone? Oh, it's in my inventory. I've got to remember that. Uh, oh, E. E for inventory. Knife. E for inventory. Knife. Okay. Thank you, Catham. I'll do some backflips for you when next I get the chance. Okay, so if I go like this. No. 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 Come here. Come here. Come here. Uh, come. Come. Okay. 
Some people have been complaining about the, the quality of the stream. I'm so sorry. I, honestly, I don't know because nothing has changed on my end. Ah, uh, roots. Are these roots? What are the roots? Oh, you know what? There's probably some information about it somewhere. Hang on a minute. So let's put this caref- no, let's not put that carefully anywhere. Let's put it back in my inventory. Okay. Did you lose any items on Conan for the patch the other day? No, I didn't. No, everything. It's winter? It is winter. It is winter here. Okay, so what is this about cutting roots? Roots? Nope, we don't need that. Uh, that was citric acid. Does it tell us anything about roots? Mushroom powder? Mongolian tea? What's this here? Cash voucher? Empty matchbox? River weeds? And that just there. 2% discount card. Okay. What's this here? Fermented mare's milk. Ooh. Close that. Uh, stuffed peppers. Album. If anyone's having issues with stream quality, check the quality settings on your video player. For some reason, YouTube is setting it low. Yeah. YouTube, what's up? What's happening? Beef lost a ton of stuff. I know. It was very sad that he lost all that stuff. Okay, what is that? Okay, so I don't know where this root is coming from. What is this on the floor? Like little leaves or something? Um, what's that? Plum olive juice? I hope this music won't demonetize me. Probably is. <laughs> Placing your body, you give the whole world hope. Or you can all what's this under here? Okay, not relevant right now. What's this? Nothing. Twenty. I don't even know what that is. That's amazing. Oh, what's that behind there? Hang on, something's behind there. That notification. Dear Betjen Dala, please accept our deepest condolences. Regarding the tragic death of your family, you'll be granted assistance in removing your belongings from the contamination zone. Can contact us to clarify the details. Oh, that's sad. And what's this one here? Oh, same thing. Okay. Anybody know what I have to do to get the route? Um, no backflips with a Santoku, please. No. You just saw them hanging up? Okay. What's next to the socks outside? Okay, let's just look at the socks there's this thing here there's the socks outside oh thank you right now what do I have to do uh, it's use the mortar to grind it where is the mortar um, is this a mortar no once you found one thing you gotta find another thing is, that's not a mortar. Is that a mortar? Oops. No, it's just a bowl. What's this? No. What's this? That looks like a mortar. But I don't know how to like put it down or anything. That looks like a mortar and pestle, doesn't it? That's like a pestle? Nope, it doesn't work. Okay. Um, well, how about if I did this to this? Nope, doesn't work. Oh, ah, uh, no, 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 no! Oh no, where's it gone? It just goes flying across the room, and now I can't get to it. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Where'd it go? Oh, there. <laughs> it's on the floor, just here. So if this goes in here, can't use it. Okay, so let me just put that in my inventory and pick this up and put this on here now let's put the root in here and let's go E to grab this 
and go like this. Okay. And then go like this. No. No, 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 no. Ugh. Can you just sit there? Just sit no. Can I take that out? No, I can't seem to take it out. Okay. There we go. Okay, cool. And how many roots do I need? Okay. There's no one around. Add salt. The salt jar is to the right of the pepper. I've moved everything. What are you talking about? The pepper. The salt jar is to the right of the pepper. Um. Okay. <laughs> so we got the roots. Cedril. Yep, I got yours. Message. Uh, throws it on the table. Chucks out the door. <laughs> Raise a stupor at the last shelf of oblong powder. What? Pounder. Put your root in first. Yay, I have a serious question. What am I watching? Helen Bricks. This game is called Cradle, and the description of it is down in the the link to the Steam page about this game is down in the description. Um You have a wonderful day. Thank you. Your break is up, you need to go. Chow chow. The jar was to the right of the pepper. <laughs> White, cr white crystals that look like citric acid. Could be citric acid, but for some reason I can't use it. Oh my goodness. Okay. The pepper. What did you say? The salt jar was to the right of the pepper. I feel like this is probably a totally mucked up game and I'm going to have to start all over again because um, I've turned off that thing over there. What did I do? Dusty bottles... Reeks of alcohol. Can't pick it up. There are some things that I can pick up and other things that I cannot. <laughs> I don't know what the heck is going on. <laughs> oh, all this stuff here. What's this? Greenhouses that are bird eye bird's eye view. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. what happened? Chat it back. Um, you have the same icon, so you kind of knew. What does that mean? Was it on the table, or the shelf? Yeah, who knows? This is this is stuff I can pick up. Is this salt free of chlorine or phosphates? Whatever that is. Footprint of a brown hair. Is it underneath here? No. Damp rags. What's that? What? Rider in an M body. Okay. Oops. There. Yeah. Can you help, chat? I can't. I can't. It's not that I threw my ingredients on the floor. It's that I picked them up and tried to put them back and I couldn't. They ended up on the floor. So like if I. What is this? Mongolian tea. If I, I can't actually pick that up. I can't pick those up. These things I can't pick up. Okay, but if I pick up this, right, I think, oh, okay, well, I'll put it back, so I put it, oh, here we go. The item doesn't work. Okay. It doesn't, it's either I throw it like that, or I use right, left click and I just drop it. So that's the issue with that. It's not that I'm throwing things around, it's that I genuinely don't know how to put stuff back, if anyone does. Helen Bricks. Who's the person that knew it was, um, hang on a second. Um, somebody knew. Edwin. Edwin knew. If you're watching, what do I do to find, where do I find the salt? This is weird, eh? So weird. Like, I can't find the salt. I mean, seriously. <laughs> I can't pick that up and I can't pick that up, but I can pick that up. Okay. Edwin, 
Now you need to add salt. There are boxes of spices on the shelf and we need a second or third on the left. It's not important. It's not important. Just change and we'll... Uh -huh. I just did it. Salt jar is to write the paper. I have no idea what I'm doing. <gasps> oh! What have I done now? Bring on Ongots his breakfast. Where's Ongots? Where's Ongots? What is Ongots? Ongots! Where are you? Oh! <gasps> is that Ongots? Hello? What happens if I just drop it? Oh, where'd he go? There he is. Oh! No, I know where we put it. Okay, I know where we put it. The thing that I was talking about that looks like a horse thing? Here. There! Where'd you go? Ongots! <gasps> Do I have to step back? Do I have to move out of the way? Oh look, he's wearing a thing! What is that? Whoa, check it out! Beautiful! We found it guys, we found it. Epic! <laughs> you have no what I'm doing, you don't have to cook, really. New task added. Hi. Replace Ongut's nest. Vest. Okay, let's take that out. The clasps first. Okay. It's this one that's here. Where'd it go? Uh, where'd it go? Oh, is that it? No. I shouldn't move everything, should I? Just leave it where it was. Oh, hang on. Is that it? No. No. There it is. There we go. <gasps> oh my god! That's scary! Oh look! It's the cradle symbol! <gasps> Check it out! Wow! Oh my gosh! Hi! Ciao! Your food is still cooking, kind of. Find an applicant. There is a four digit number on the inside of the vest. It is a key to find valuable in. What? Oh, the vest. This one. There's a four digit number on the inside of the vest. It is a key to valuable information. Find an application for the number. 2053. This place is a mess. <laughs> uh, where is that thing? This one. Read entries. Yes. Enter the password. 2053. Oh, this one? 2053. Ho! Check it out! An owl! You're making you... I'm making you hungry. You can eat me. See? Om nom 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 nom. <laughs> I don't know. Is it dinner time for you? It's almost lunch not very far from lunch. Not very far away from lunch time for me. Um... <clears throat> so yeah that was really freaky that bird is like mechanical is it the tablet password yes the shirt is also missing the middle part does this mean nothing has a heart anymore oh okay Tom that's really interesting bye Braxton Murphy okay access granted okay access granted uh, I've got a journal now thanks to Baha my name is Inabish. I've always lived here because I can't go anywhere else. Grandpa Batchin says lots of people used to live around here, but they all died when the dome blew up. The area has been deserted ever since. Aside from myself, Batchin and Ongots. Ongots has got very powerful claws. He obeyed my father and helped him hunt hares. I don't remember my parents. They died in the explosion as well. Inabish. Inabish, Batchin, and 
Onguts. So Onguts is the is the eagle. Uh, when the wind picks up, it gets pretty chilly. You can find refuge from it, but not for long. You can't last long without light. That's why I crafted this transparent layered vest. Like in that program about greenhouses, it keeps Onguts warm during the day, and when the night chill, night's chill arrives, I put them into another warm vest. I collect and dig digitize flowers. I look for the prettiest ones and make photocopies of them. Tabaha then takes them into town and sells them. The earnings keep him afloat while Grandpa and I buy cheese. Ho! Oh. Tabaha. So there's Tabaha, Inabish, Batjin, and Onguts. So Batjin is the grandfather. Me, or the person that is talking, is Inabish. And then there's Tabaha, who's, I've seen that name around somewhere, so I'm guessing it's some, yeah, okay. Continue. We've got a new denometer. It measures everything. Flowers and six people. It clocked Batchin at 47. Oh, 47 years old. And the tree by the gate at 24. Even the stool got measured, measured though that took a little longer. But we named it Ongots and myself. It still shows the same old error. Grandpa says it's all providence. Maybe he's right. So the person that's writing this um, this thing, journal and Ongots, they don't have an age. I have this dream sometimes. I'm in a stranger city. Maybe that's still me and I don't remember. The day is waning. Folks are walking in the distance. There's somebody beside me, but I don't see who. The dream is fleeting, always leaving me with a strange sensation like I'm supposed to pass something to somebody, but I can never remember what or to whom. I feel some kind of mix of anxiety and chagrin, and it makes me want to go there, to that town. Mmm. I stood in the I stood in the stew. I did. I stood in the stew. <laughs> uh, it adds kiwi flavor. This is fascinating. Okay. Um, Grandpa Batchin has died. <gasps> he wanted to do a transfer after losing his sight and mobility. Tabaha even bought him the equipment, but Grandpa died in his sleep. He was buried at the spot he had requested. She he had requested. Tomorrow marks the four-year anniversary of Grandpa's funeral, which means I'm already 23. Everything is still the same. I tried leaving again, but no dice. I simply lose consciousness like before. I want to find that town from my dream. Perhaps I'll risk it and do a transfer. Grandpa's got no use for this helmet, his helmet these days. But I might, if I get lucky, I'll wake up in a new body in Ulan Bator. Too bad the genometer won't show my number. I know how dangerous it is. When I look up at the poster over my bed, for some reason I remember my toys. When I was a kid, maybe five or so, I had a favourite toy, an old little space case. Ongots had found it somewhere and bought it to me. Then I saw dark swirls in the field, got scared and stashed the toys away for some reason. And to make sure I didn't forget the hiding place, I came up with a clue. Come out of the yurt and fly straight as a crow. On a rock with a snag, look for an arrow. A sorrowful tree will show you the way, a box in the sand will a mystery betray. But now I can't find it. Ah, came out of the yurt and fly straight as the crow on a rock with a snag. Look for an arrow. A soulful shoe will show you the way. A box in the sand will a mystery betray. Okay, see you soon, Baz, for a meeting. Interesting. Game saved. Thank you. Uh, your favourite toy. Your child, your child stash is hidden somewhere nearby. Come out of the yurt and fly... Okay. Fly straight as a crow on a rock with a snake. Look for an arrow. Find your toy. So come out of the yurt and fly straight as the crow on a rock with a snake. Look for an arrow. Is this the yurt? I'm just going to say, I'm just going to assume that that's the yurt. So fly straight as the crow. So the crow doesn't actually fly that, fly that straight though. That's what I'm saying. So we'll just keep going in this way, I guess. Find your toy. Hi, Braxton Murphy. How are you? So we're looking for a rock with an arrow in it. With a snag. I'm not actually sure what a snag is. Anybody know what a snag is? Hang on a second. If we go to the Google, all-powerful Google, and we say snag. Snag. We have unexpected or hidden obstacle or drawback. A sharp, angular, or jagged projection. A catch or tear. Okay. Interesting. So what did the game say it was? 
um, on a rock with a snag, like a bump or a knot. Okay, so I'm coming from that direction and we're going to find the toy. Um, hang on, two seconds. Ugh, I can't, I can't escape when I do that. <laughs> Let me just see. Does this work? No, it doesn't. Okay. You think I should turn start again because I've turned a few times? It's sort of in this direction, isn't it? Okay, wait. Can I run? I am running. Running really slow, really fast. Okay. Snake can also be a tree stump. Yeah. This, the saying means a crow doesn't have to move for obstacles because it's flying. Exactly. I wouldn't think that it would be very far though. So like, I mean, what ra ro rocks have a snap? Oh. Ah, check it out. What? Wait, there's an arrow. Can I move anything? Can I do anything? Oh, maybe it's an arrow for... Wait, what? What? Is That's not a snag, though. But it has an arrow. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Find your toy. Well, there's another arrow. Uh, what, which way is it going now? This way. That's probably not even relevant. <laughs> Is that a snag? No, I think so. Oh, hey, 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 there's something just there. What is that? Aha! What is this? What is this? Okay, let's just put that in my inventory. A little case, the same one as on the poster. Chewing gum insert. Mini calendar for 2058. Treasure trove of sweets and assortment of candy. What's this? I have no need for this. Oh. What's this? Glass balls, cold and heavy. Can I put it in my inventory? No. It looks like an egg, doesn't it? I can't do anything else. Oop. No, I can't do anything else with it. But I have no need for this. What about, isn't that my toy? from oh my gosh I'm so excited about this okay hang on wait what your favorite toy as a child was a processing device the main part of a mechanical body there are two more parts in the year use them to repair the young android woman she may provide valuable information connect the processor to the young woman okay yay we've got first part <laughs> that's great I feel like I could have gone through this so much quicker but we're we're chill we're chill Hi Brian, how are you? Your favorite kiwi? You probably don't know many kiwis, so I can imagine, imagine that. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, this is right. I've got to put this in the in the young woman. So let's go. What's this? No. Um, maybe take this off. Take this out, and can I? Hang on. E this. Can I put that in there? Okay. Uh, that's the old one. Where's the... Okay. New task added. Hang on a second. Find and connect the synchronizer. Uh, there are two more parts in the year. Using to repair the young one. Find and connect the synchronizer. What do you mean, the synchronizer? Oh my gosh. What? Oh, 
Maybe it's these things. Oh, wait. Okay. Uh, hang on a second. Um, there were things that were lying around that looked like that. Not those things. The rising all woods this and I was throwing them all over the place. <laughs> Next time we play this game, don't touch anything. Okay? Just don't touch it. Just leave it where you found it. Okay? Oh, here we go. This thing. Can I add that somewhere? Um, this is a synchronizer as far as I know. It looks like that, doesn't it? What do I do? <clears throat> oh, 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 turn off. Okay. Um. <laughs> That's how you stuff a wild bikini. Colonel and synchronizer, they're, they're in the car in the middle of the room. Oh, were they these things? The car? Item doesn't work. But wait, hang on a minute. If this goes... That, go that looks like that there too. Like, you know, that's a thing. <gasps> Eclectic! Hi, hang on a second. Is the thing still working? It's not, it's not telling me that you've... Where's my, where's my things? Eclectic has become a sponsor. Welcome to the Shea Squad. Oh my gosh, Eclectic, you are amazing. Thank you so much. You're on my, on my server, so you, you get all the things. You get all the things. Hang on. Okay, so we're... Hang on. Hang on, hang on. What is this here? Is it something? No. So she started going nuts. The car in the middle of the room. What are you doing, cat? I hope you haven't... Have you got a bird? Did you bring in a bird again? You did! My cat just bought in a bird! Ugh, while I'm streaming, you evil thing. Oh my god. Are you serious? You have feathers everywhere! Oh my god! <laughs> Hang on a second. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna, I think I might have to deal with this. Give me a second. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> you horrible cat. I hate cats that bring in birds. I might have to go on a quick break and deal with this. Because, yeah. Real life drama. It totally is. Hang on a minute. I'll just put you on a be right back screen. Just see if I can deal with the cat. What is happening with my fringe? Oh my gosh. Be right back, guys. <laughs>
I'm back, I'm back. I'm back. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was horrible. It was a little green bird, like a little tiny itty bitty bird. Hang on, have I got my mic on? Yeah, it was a little tiny itty bitty bird. A little green one. I think it was like a finch or something. <sighs> but I let it free. It was still able to fly. And now my cat's outside on the neighbor's roof trying to find it. Even though he has a collar with a bell on it, these silly birds. <laughs> let him catch them. Oh, okay. Hang on, let me just see what people have been saying. I'm so sorry about that. It's so one thing I do not like about having a cat is that it brings in birds. Okay. He's trying to feed me. I don't want him to feed me. I don't want any bird. <laughs> to a cat that is a great present. I don't care. I don't want it. I don't care what his nature is. Don't bring in birds. Um. Okay. He's not showing me love. <laughs> Don't take the love. <laughs> it's not loving. All right, so we need to find and connect the synchronizer. Well, I figured since we can take that off, can we do something with this? So where is it thing? This thing. Can I put this in here? Ah, okay. Well, that was a pretty fluky thing to do, wasn't it? That's a synchronizer. Now what? Find and connect the container. The container is this thing? Where does it go? Why does it keep going with this flower vase thing? Uh, maybe take... The item doesn't work. Oops. Hang on. Oh my gosh, I've got feathers in my nose. <gasps> Hit you! <I'm> sorry. <laughs> okay. Does it go in here, maybe? Where is it? This thing? Does it go in here? No, can't seem to use. Okay. Whoopsie, I dropped it. Let's put your head back on. What could be used? Could, could it be used for? Don't press the on button just yet. Okay. <laughs> Find and connect the container. Flower vase. Processing device. Please connect the container. So I'm just assuming that this is a container. Yes, container. It says container on it. So how do we oh connect it? Can't seem to use. Oops, no, I just dropped it. Wait, no. Oh, oh no. If I pick this up and put it in here, maybe? Does it go in here? Oh there we go. Okay. New task added. Brilliant. Uh, you switch on the mechanical woman and talk to her. Yay! Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey. Can you hear me? Where am I? Somewhere in Mongolia, in some yurt. What happened to you? I don't know. I don't remember anything either. Was it you who switched me on? Yes. Are you a mulga? I don't know. But I doubt it. Where did you get my neurochip? I found it in a cache underground. What cache? A long time ago, I hid a cache of toys in the ground. You were playing with my neurochip and then buried it in the ground? Looks that way. 
but I don't remember any of it. My name is Enovich. Enovich. I think. And you are? What do you want? I want to know what's going on here. You're not a mulger. I don't know what a mulger is. Can you explain? Someone who kidnaps people and sells their substance. What substance? I don't understand. My name is Eva. Eva. And I understand even less than you do. I do not recognize this body. There's something wrong with it. I can't see anything and I don't feel my legs. What's wrong with my legs? They're, um, fused together. Kind of like a vase. What? You've got a flower vase where your legs should be. That's ridiculous. I'm scared. Calm down, Eva. Tell me, are you a robot? I'm a human being in an artificial body. You mean you've had your body replaced? Half of humanity had their bodies replaced. Where did you get my neurochip? Ida, I've just now found it in an old cache. The cache you made when you were a child? Yes, if my journal is to be trusted. <clears throat> How could my neurochip have ended up in the hands of a child? Ongots brought it. My father's trained golden eagle. I don't know where he had found it. How long ago was that? Long. Eighteen years ago. Listen, Enevish. I feel ill at ease here and scared. I want to remember who I am and return home. Please help me. I want the same thing. How can I help? You need to call the evacuators. They'll come and take me away. I've been trying to send a request, but it's useless. My marker isn't answering. What marker? The authenticity marker. It's like my passport. It's got all my personal data. It means it's really annoying. All requests must be accompanied by data from the marker, but it appears to be broken. So what do we do? I don't know. We might be able to use my neurocopy number, but I don't remember it. I remember almost nothing about myself. She's got cute eyes. Just like me. Well, at least yeah, you're in your home. Going. You know about your childhood, your family. I'm not sure if I'm home. I don't know this place. Strange. Listen, why don't you start asking me questions? Anything you wish to know. Maybe that will help sort my memories. Maybe I'll even remember the number. Are you all right? I feel something is wrong with this body. I can't figure out what, but we need to hurry. Tell me about artificial bodies. About bodies? All right. They are called M bodies. Hold on. Why replace people's bodies? Um, enter the music volume right down. Uh, sound volume is up. Because of the epidemic, there was a virus. Hold on. Um, desktop audio, I'll just turn that up right, right full. Virus that spread across the globe. A sterility virus. They couldn't fight it, so they developed this body replacement program. Transferring consciousness from a regular body into a mechanical one. Kind of like a personal refuge? Right. A temporary refuge. People use it to hide from decrepitude. Once the virus is cured, we'll be able to return to our regular bodies. I can't actually exit this conversation to turn the music off. I'm sorry. I did turn the music down, but it's still playing. Uh... The virus could be gone by now. It's been years. I don't know. It was just so... No treatment worked. Not antibiotics, nothing. There was only one substance capable of destroying the virus. Passio. But the accumulation process was extremely slow. How was it accumulated? It was extracted from people themselves. 
Human beings produced it with their nervous system. I can't actually get out of talking to her at all. I have to keep going with the conversation, otherwise I would have turned that off. It's, it's annoying. Nervous system? I don't get it. Well, Passium can only be extracted from emotions. Whenever you experience an emotion, any emotion, your M-body manufactures a little bit of the substance. A substance produced by emotions? Yes. Emotions were the only thing capable of making a remedy against the virus. As a result, Passium skyrocketed in value, far surpassing everything else. Hmm. And every person, they became... Everybody became a source of value? Yes, although... There were people whose substance was considered more valuable than that of others. Who were those people? People that were special, somehow. They had something. They were greatly respected, but... I can't remember. I think I figured out what's wrong with me. I can't breathe. Breathe? You need oxygen? I simply need to inhale air. It's been inherited from my former body. A reflex. I can't get rid of it. All M bodies have a special module built in for this very purpose. It imitates breathing. Can I help you somehow? I need a breathing module. Could you find it for me? Where do I look? We're in the middle of the step. The step and nothing else? Describe for me what's around here. The river, some abandoned complex. What kind of complex? A big dome with multicolored sails. Hold on. Yes, I see it. I've got access to it. The Gerbera Garden. Enabish, I remember this name. I used to have a connection to this place. I think that it's an amusement park. It looks the part. Embody parts were stored there, in the pavilions. It should definitely have a breathing module. Body parts in a children's park? They were once used in a show, but I don't remember exactly how. All right, I'll try. Find the seventh pavilion. I'll try to find the password to the file database. It may contain my data. If I remember anything, I'll contact you. Help me understand something. What's that? What's a neurochip? A consciousness carrier. When a body gets replaced, the subject's nervous system is copied to the neurochip. There it lives and develops, just like in the former body, or close enough to it. For one thing, there used to be no need to reboot yourself. Reboot yourself? Reboot? Sometimes the neurochip needs rebooting to clear the errors that accumulate. I don't really know much about it. Essentially, if too many errors pile up, it starts to disrupt your thinking. You start feeling out of it. That's when the neurochip should be switched off and back on. We call that a reboot, and it is a highly, highly unpleasant procedure. What do you mean by disrupted thinking? Well, your speech gets distorted, for instance. You start mumbling as if you're delirious, but it doesn't end there. That sounds like me. <laughs> your motor functions can be affected. Got it. Where is that thing? Here it is. Okay. New task added. So, unable to breathe in air, a person in an M body feels discomfort. Head to the abandoned amusement park and get Ida a breathing module. Get across the enclosure. Okay, um, what's the time? It's 11.53. Um, let's go for half an hour more and do this. Uh, so get across the enclosure. I don't have a map or anything? No. I hate that. Oops. Okay, let's go over to here. There's a big thing over here. I'm assuming that that's something to do with it. Sir Charles! Yay! I turned it off. I know, and I'm so sorry about that. Ooh! Jabera Garden. Okay. Get across the enclosure. Is that what it was? The enclosure. These are cool. Hi, Christopher Sanchez. 
this game that you're playing what is the name it's called cradle and down in the description of the stream you'll find information a link to the to the steam page for it and the information yes shiver map it's a new game something new that i purchased in oh i see what they mean by get across the enclosure a new game that i purchased in the recent sale um was on sale it's not in, anymore unfortunately but yeah it's a sci-fi puzzle game adventure like kind of thing so i can't get past this so pretty gardens and stuff so all of this i guess i have to go around it fight get across the enclosure can't really jump very high so i'm a young man i guess um probably in early 20s i guess but I woke up not remembering who I was. I've been able to piece together a few ideas of what might have happened. Okay, so that is... The, I can see the fence going all the way around there. Let's just go and check over this side. See if there's something that might open up on this side. They might be waiting scary clowns in the gutter. Yeah, it might be like a horror story in disguise. It's all been pretty chill and a few puzzles and trying to discover stuff. And sticks on the ground stopping me from walking anywhere <laughs> but it might just suddenly be that i enter into the horror i mean horror world kind of thing um what does this sign over here say danger desperatoxin contaminated keep away Ooh. oh oh this is so because i remember that in one of the news articles they were talking about i have to turn that off it's really annoying my, my heat pump is too hot and it's too cold and then, ugh. they were talking about how you can't get in very closely to it at all so to find a way across the enclosure the tree is a ramp climb the tree it is a free roam action adventure third person and first person game yes can i climb the tree i don't know if i can climb the tree can i climb the tree Oh, 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 I kind of climbed the tree. But no. Oh, look at that. Okay, I see what you mean. Okay, I see. You guys are so clever. Okay, so we're over here. Despotoxin sounds like a nerve agent that causes desperation. It does, doesn't it? What is that noise? <gasps> oh, what is that? What is that? Oh my gosh. What is this? I don't know. I Anibish. I remembered who those people were. The ones whose passion was regarded as more valuable. It was their genes that made them special. Their DNA had fewer errors. In other words, these were people with good heredity. Such people produce a special kind of passion which contains a valuable component. Mm. It was this component that was needed to fight the virus and not the whole substance. That was why they commanded such respect. Humanity's struggle against the virus hinged on them. Back then, everybody used to say that the emotions of beautiful people were our salvation. <gasps> Whoa, okay. Head to the abandoned amusement park and get Ida a breathing module. Find and search the seventh pavilion. Okay, we have to find the seventh pavilion. But those black things over there. Oh gosh, is that coming towards me? What is it? It looks like it's coming towards me. You know, with every good thing, there's always bad things. Okay, it's gone. <sighs> It's a smog monster from Lost. <laughs> totally is. Is this the seventh pavilion? I don't even. Oh look, there's a thing over here. Hang on a sec. What's this? I've still got things in my inventory. Maybe it's a form of security. Scream? Nah. Oh look at this. Ooh, what's it over there? But you can look. There's these things. Can I? What? What do you mean? That sucks. Can't go up there. That looks really cool. Okay. So there's these things over here. Cheers. How do I know that I've reached the seventh pavilion? That's 
what I want to know. What is this? Does it say 7th Pavilion on it? <laughs> oh, maybe this is a little cart that take. No. Okay, let's go in here though. Can I get in here? What is this? Nothing. Can't actually click on anything in here. Oh, automatic repair repair card. Report card. Okay. An automatic report card. Sandstorm reflex saves your life. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything in here that I can do. Oh yeah, you see little black things going past and think that a sandstorm is, is coming. Wrong game, girl. Wrong game. There's a dentist? Could be. What's this here? Nothing. <gasps> uh, what? Well, that's not very nice, is it? Oh, there's five. I saw five up there. Look at that. There's a five there. Distant planet. Okay. Maybe each one is, there's like, there's a little pavilion. So, um, maybe if we go around here. What is this? Building four. Can I open this door? No. Oh. I must be a robot or something because this is not affecting me. Whatever this, they say that it was bad in here, you know. Uh, I'm lost now. Uh oh. I always go around the back of things and then find that I'm lost. Now I'm lost. Smoking gives you bad, bad breath. Yeah. Eclectic, now you have a little symbol on beside you. Because you're special. Okay, so. What's this over here? Building number one. Okay. I'd be bummed if the seventh pavilion wasn't actually in here. What is this? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so there's a five there, but nothing. Oh, look at this. This is another one. Except it's not on. Oh, it is on. Well, I can I can press it though. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh. If it needs to be repaired or something. Where did they go to? I don't see. Okay. One, three, five, eight. Maybe this is the seventh. I don't know. It's in between eight. It's next to eight. So let's take this one. Plus it's already lit up. Lit, lit up. Lit up. What's this going to do? <laughs> Whoa. You're at the location. You're at the location. Hold on. I'll try to open the doors. Now what? Padded cell. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> What's happening? Did I just die? Game saved. Oh no. Oh no. What I what did I do? Did I die? How long did I intend to stream? Till twelve thirty. It's now twelve o'clock, so another half an hour. Let's just see how far this goes.
Whoa! What? Pavilion, Endless Sands. Collect 30 blue cubes to gain the breathing module. Hurl cubes into the uprising stream. Hold the right mouse button while throwing to make a burst of cubes. Don't fall into the water, that reduces your scores. Make use of the uprising stream to lift yourself. Create platforms, valuable cubes are hidden inside those. Apply a blue cube to a white one to create a platform. Right click to delete the cubes blocking your way. 30 blue cubes. So this is the breathing module, but I need to collect 30 blue cubes. There are blue cubes down there. Ah! Uh, one. <gasps> what is he? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, is one. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. Oh, man. How do we get away from him? He's mean. I'm running out of cubes. What do you mean I'm running out of cubes? I don't understand what that means. Uh, oh, build. Oh, I can build things, right? Whoopsie. So, like, I can build that. Oh, no. Oh, what? Throw. Okay. Ah! Wait. What do I do if I do this? I got a couple. No, 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 no. What are you doing? This one. No, 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 no. Oh, bummer. <laughs> I don't know how to stop him from hitting me. I guess it's just one of those things I have to do. Like, don't fall in the water or something like that. Um, maybe, oh, maybe make another... Right click to delete the cubes blocking your way. Okay. Create platforms. Valuable cubes are hidden inside those. Create platforms. Apply blue cube to a white one to create a platform. Oh, blue cube. Blue cube to a white plat cube to. Okay. So if I do the. Where's the blue one? Where's the blue one? Hang on. Where's the white one, I should say. Sorry. Where's the white one? Here's the white one. Oh, okay. Uh, that kind of doesn't work, does it? Here's a blue one. Oh, what? Oh, no, 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 no! Oh. Wow, that was bad. How do I reset? Um... Throwing to make a burst of... Hold the right mouse button while throwing to make a burst of cubes. Okay, don't fall... Make use of a presence to lift yourself. Okay. 
with myself. Okay, can I get up? Okay, it's hard to remember everything. Here's a black, here's a red one. Oh, what did I just do then? Oh, bye. Um, where's a white one so I can make like a little, so if I go like this and put this here, then I can grab this blue one and then I go like that and I can make a new platform. Okay, and then I pick up this blue one and chuck it in here. How many have I got now? Okay. Well, I'm sorry about this. What did Nightbot do? Hang on a minute. Wait, what did Nightbot do? What is Nightbot doing? Yeah, how do I turn the Nightbot off? <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry about this, guys. I didn't even realize that Nightbot was being an idiot. Can I delete you? How do I go about doing that? Can I part channel? Goodbye. Thank you. Okay. Is that better? Sorry about that. Okay. Um, no. Can I put this here? So I can like build a little bit of a thing here as well. While I pick up this and chuck it in there. There's a red one over there. I don't know what that is. Okay. Can I throw something at this guy over here? Oopsie. See, I'm over here right now. He can't, hopefully he can't get to me. There are black things. Oh my goodness. like Minecraft um but there are no blue things down here they're all down here so let me just grab this is there a white thing around here somewhere no okay let's chuck that in there then and grab this one over here and chuck it in there grab this chuck it in there I still don't quite fully congrats with this game who are you and what are you doing what are you doing Oh, look at that. Check it out. Okay, so if I fall in the water, um, then I lose some things. So if I go... Wait, where was that big hole that he had made? He made a hole over here somewhere. So I put that there. Then somehow I've got to find a blue one and put one down there so I can make a... Is there any behind here? It'd be nice if I could find some down here. Oh, there's some over there, but I don't... Okay, if I go down here, no second. There's one here. And go. Oh, no, it's not working now. Hang on a second. Okay, there it is, it's back. Okay, so if I jump up here and go. Ah! No! No, 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 no! Oh, man! Where's that white piece that I put down? Did I lose my blue piece? No, I didn't lose my blue piece, but I lost a whole bunch of things. Here it is, right here. Okay, so if I go here and put it in there, then that creates that, which then I can chuck in there. Here's a white piece over here. Okay. Oh no, the bad guy. The bad guy, damn it! There's a white piece just here. So if I can find a red, there's a blue piece just here. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Come here. Ah! No, 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 no! Ooh. What? I don't know what happened just there. Okay. If I go like, um... <laughs> oh no, he's back! He's back. No, 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 no! Oh, I hate this game! Can I stop now? <laughs> I don't want to play this game anymore! This is hard. <laughs> I need 30 cubes and I'm back to only having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Make sure not to toss all your blue ones. You have to mix them with the white ones to make more blue ones. Yes. I lose. Okay. Bye. You can skip this mini game. I'll probably replay it.
um, but I'll probably save it and save it for next time. I'm going to be streaming tomorrow morning, same time, probably starting at nine o'clock if I can manage. Hopefully there won't be any huge, big, um, crazy things happening on my server that I have to deal with. Um, so yeah, what I plan to do is that tomorrow morning I will stream at about 9, 9.30 my time, which is probably about an hour earlier than what I did today, but it was an hour early today because I had issues. So, and we'll continue with this game. So every day this week, I'll just be doing two hours in the morning because um, in the afternoon, that's when I spend time with my daughter and we go doing stuff for the school holidays. But it means that you guys get regular um, time, re regular streams. I've always wanted to do this every day streaming. <laughs> um, hopefully I'll also have, um, I will be recording um, Devolve Server Conan this evening um, and hopefully get an episode out either tomorrow or the next day, depending on how long it takes me to, uh, to edit and yes um let me just see what this what you guys were saying yes i need to make sure not to toss all my blue ones farm more blue ones before checking them it just looks that the red thing is a little bit unpredictable which makes it a little bit frustrating seems that red guard only shoots in straight directions left right front back just to stay just stay a bit to the side okay hi basilis you did miss a lot. <laughs> Bye, Al. See you later. A charming rage quit. Yeah, rage quit. But I want to try it again, possibly when I haven't been playing for already an hour and a half and a little bit sort of um, clear minded. Um, and I will see you tomorrow morning. I'm going to stream at the same time. I know that that's kind of a difficult time for people because they're back at work. It's Monday. But I'm just going to try that this week is streaming for two hours in the morning because yeah if you're a part of my discord you know that I've got a nice big choice to make which I'm not going to talk about on the stream um you can join my discord the link is down in the description good night Elise good night Wabbit Hunter Greg thank you so much for joining Catherine thank you for being here Edwin thank you for your help I appreciate that and Cedriel it does look stressful but it's fun Scott M, thank you. Paterok, Cedril, I said, said, said to Cedril. Um, and Nails. And I'm sorry about Nightbot, I will turn that off in the future. I don't know why it did that. I had to look into that a bit more. I was trying to actually add little things that told you about the Humble Bundle and G Portal and everything, but it doesn't. So anyway, ciao exiles. Bye bye, Hip Chaos. Bye bye, Babs. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.